Well, we're back from Po now. Back to the old rain and overcast and English weather. Um, the Po race wasn't very good, I'm afraid. It was a bit of a sweet situation. Uh, but the good bit about it was, my mate Ronnie Wazier won the race. By street as well, mate. Good, what, three quarters an hour? I don't know about that. It was great. So, uh, what did you think of the race, Ron? Well, it was very tough. One of those races that we don't want, but... Uh, it was never very nice, in as much as my my partner Terry he's had cancer diagnosed and he's been on uh, chemotherapy and this has knocked him sick. And when I heard that we had the first recorded pigeon and rang him, it was like an injection. You know, he was so over the moon like a little boy at Christmas sort of thing. And I was very pleased for that, but it, it was an hard race, a very stiff old race. But uh, I noticed some very good pigeons was up there. That Jimmy Townsend's pigeon was a very classy pigeon, and so yeah. was Khan Brothers' pigeon. Classy pigeon, no doubt, so all the others were as well. Khan's got to be the best pigeons. fancies in the classic. Oh, I yeah. think so. Yeah, Fantastic moment, performance. Yeah. Twice second open this year, right? Yeah, yeah. So Jimmy Townsend's hen, she was um, 60th open, St. Sebastian National. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic, mate. But as I say, I think um, we, you know, there was every good intention. I think well, I thought we was going to have day birds, to yeah, be honest yeah. with you. I mean, being on the committee, I was fortunate enough in getting a very detailed account of Steve Appleby's uh, forecasting, and uh, he made it quite obvious that, according to the forecast, I thought we were going to get um, day, day, pigeons. day pigeons. And it did say on the BBC News that uh, very deep into France, you was going to have tower winds. And I thought we were going to have day pigeons. It never materialised. Uh, and a lot of good fans just thought we was going to have day pigeons, yeah. but it never materialised. And as you said, uh, coming back through France, there was no wind, very, very hot conditions. Yeah. And I think that's what made it There's still a very no bad chance race. of day pigeons. Well, and I think a bit of bad, it had a little bit of bad weather out yeah. in northern France the following day. But let's face it, everybody who flies pound knows there's an element of risk in uh, the right in, at that distance because how can you wait for ideal the conditions right the way never, through? You'll wait forever. Never, mate, ever. So, unfortunately, it did turn out to be a bit of a stinker, but one of those things, it do happen now and again for inexplicable reasons. And uh, as I say, I was a bit disappointed in returns, but at the same time, I was so pleased because of my partner, because it really gave me... Good old Terry, yeah, it was great. Right, Ronnie, so you've sent to Poe four times. This embarrasses you, I know. Yeah, I know, yeah. Sent to Poe four times. Yeah. First time he sent to Poe, he wins the Poe National. Yes, I was very really lucky. Second yeah. time... That was on the day, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. Nancy. Following year, Lulu, her sister. That was, was a midday, then. Yeah, fourth open. Wins the Langston Gold Cup, best average in the National that year. Third time he didn't clock in. Yeah, fourth didn't time, he wins the Classic. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Ronnie. Yeah, thank you very much, Keith. And I'd like to say thank you to all those people who sent me congratulations, Carl. The phone never stopped ringing, yeah. which was very, very nice. You know, it's, it's, it's quite nice, especially the one from Pat Cannon. Yeah. And on the back of that card, it said, um, she, she obviously miss, misses uh, Eric. But on the back of the card, she wrote, I don't know what I would have done without Keith. Not, so I love you've it, done mate. a good job there, I mate. You've done a good job. So look at your winner. This is your classic winner, then, Ronnie. Yeah, this is Bambi. Why do you call it Bambi then, mate? Well, even from a youngster, he always looked very, very small. You can see he's on the small side, looks very any looking. Yeah. But um, as a baby, he had one Guernsey race, came home very um, jumpy and flew round for 45 minutes. Then he went to Perth as a yearling and he took 15 days to get home there. As you remember, it was a bit of a hard race. And then this year he had two channel races, La Fort Bernard, where he was my third pigeon home, and then to us, and uh, he was home in good time. Then we stuck him into Poe, and uh, he came up trumps. Yeah, brilliant. How was he sent to Poe, Ron? Well, he was sitting 14 days, and after he, he'd been in the shed about an hour, he was sitting on the eggs again. Yeah. What family is he? He's pure, pure, pure Peter Titmus. Yeah. Good old family, mate. Oh, Christ, yeah. Oh, he's, he's a great fancy of uh, Peter Titmus, and uh, been responsible for a lot of very good winners. I noticed Misty Lady, Terry Ailey's Misty Lady's got a, bit, a, a little bit of Peter Titmus blood in it. Yeah. Well done, Ron. Thank you very much. What system you race your old birds on in, Ron? Natural. Yeah, how Natural, many pairs? Yeah. Sorry? How many pairs? Well, I started off with the most pigeons I've ever had this year uh, because I'm looking for good pigeons and there's only one way to find them and that's putting them in a basket. Yeah. 
no matter how they look or how well they're bred, there's only one way to tell good pigeons, to my mind, and that's in a basket. Yeah, so what's your system? Do you still flag them around home? I do still flag them, yes, I flag them. Uh, I start off gradually at the beginning of the season, you know, half an hour, then three quarters of an hour, then an hour, then an hour and a quarter, building up to the race. Yeah. I also do a bit of training as well. You like a bit of work, don't you? Coast. Oh, yes. I'm feeding heavy. I, I'm an heavy feeder and I, and I have to work. Yeah. So when did you pair up? Paired up this year. Um, why did I pair up late this year? I think the one. Oh, I had to go to Disneyland with the granddaughter. So yeah, that's that it, yeah. a week behind. So I was about March the 15th, something like that, uh, we paired up. Yeah. So where did you train from mostly? Mostly on the south coast, Langston Harbour, yeah. uh, Shoreham, Worthing, Brighton, Seaford, all along, yeah. Eastbourne, all along that sort of way. Yeah, because you don't belong to a club, do you? No, no. I <laughs> not say too much about clubs. No, but I rather I enjoy racing without all the hassle that goes with it, which you get sometimes in some clubs. Some clubs are very good, but it's fine in good clubs. I, I think it's hard. Yeah, today. what'd you feed, Ron? Sorry? What'd you a feed? Good mixture. In fact, I'll get mine from Wally Dan of Cobham, oh, the Wally. old Irish mix, uh, yeah. from, I believe comes from Peter Titmus. Yeah, he was straight on the phone when you won, didn't he? Oh yes, Wally was, and yeah. I was quite surprised because uh, he's 89 years of age and to get a call from a furniture of that calibre... Fantastic, old Wally. It's good, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So what families of pigeons you keep now, Ron? Well, I've got a, a bit of a mixture. Peter Titmus is one of them and uh, some Julian Matisse that haven't come up to standard at the moment. They look good, feel good, look good, but uh, at the moment I think they're going to go out. Uh, what else have I got there? Some Jan Ardens, and I've just been lucky enough for your generosity, got some Cannon Pigeons, and uh, some Denny and um, Tommy Gilbertson pigeons. In fact, Tommy Gilbertson very kindly sent me down a pair of pigeons for next year. Yeah, three good fancies, mate. Yeah, yeah. The best. Well, I'm interested in distance and distance alone, so you can't get no better than that, I don't yeah. think. I rung Brian Denny up last weekend after the Poe National. He had a corker, didn't he? Oh, Poe National. marvellous. That, to me, is one of the most sensational mm. results I've ever heard of. Fifth in open. Fifth open at that distance, mm. I think, is incredible. 738 yeah. miles, mate, in a yeah. northwest wind. Yeah. It's got to be one of the best all-time performances, I think, Ron. Yeah, I, I think so. I would agree with that. I, I did send him a couple, actually, to that effect, because uh, I thought it was a sensational uh, performance, that. Eh? As well as the man who got one on the day, to have the only bird on the day in the national, yeah. I think is a bit of a, a, a fairy story, but yeah. uh, good luck to the man. It was very good. But I thought um, Brian Denny's pigeon was Oh, that was truly fantastic. Yeah, and so was your pigeon, Ron. Congratulations, well, I don't mate. Know about that. I'm a, someone up there likes me. That's what that's all about. Yeah, well, what? to be honest with you, <laughs> it's too much like hard work today. Yeah. And I'll, I'll do feel my age. I'll yeah, well, well done, Ron. Thank you. To very you much. and Terry. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm sure yeah. Terry would appreciate that. This going to Oh, yeah. yeah. He certainly come on. He wasn't too bad when he came, I'll consider the type of race he was, he wasn't too bad when he came. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce you to Ron Ball. Ron won the last Young Bird Classic from Guernsey. Congratulations, Ron. Thank you, Keith. Tell us a bit about your race. What sort of race did you have? Uh, well, obviously, on the day of the race, it was always going to be a hard, hard day. Um, I was expecting the birds to do uh, faster than what they did. Yeah. Uh, so, um, but um, on the on the day, um, I got four out of seven on the day. Um, the bird came really well. Um, my young birds this year have um, not really trapped particularly well. No, but they've certainly scored, right? Haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, they've come well, you know, when they had to. Where else um, have they won? Um, the week before the classic race uh, from, uh, from the National Flying Club Guernsey race, I was fifth open. Um, that bird again will be the first A ring in, in the result. Um, we should pick up uh, in the region of two and a half to three grand. So you're taking your wife to Tenerife next January? Uh, we may have a holiday after yeah. the strength of it. Well done, mate, it's brilliant. What system do you race for young birds? Um, 
the, the main ones are the, they're split into two teams, um, darkness and natural young youngsters. Yeah. Um, obviously, I concentrate uh, on the darkness youngsters, um, especially for the classic and national racing. And the sort of the natural ones for later in life. Yeah, they're just um, brought on steadily. Um, they're, they're not pushed at all. Trained as much as possible. Yeah. Um, and hopefully given at least two two races. Yeah, just educate them. Yeah. How many babies you keep? I keep now, um, I don't keep as many now, cut down. Um, I usually, it's in the region of 60. Um, 28 to 30 in each team. Yeah, There's do you 28 pair them up? in each this year. Yeah, do you pair them up? Yes, yes. Def, uh, the darkness, the non darkness are not. Um, the, the darkness are encouraged to, to pair up for the classic and national yeah. races. Yeah, because you only concentrate really on them sort of races, don't you? That is my main aim. Everything is geared towards national and classic racing. Yeah, so when do you put them on the darkness? Uh, they're on the darkness, they, they're weaned into a basket for seven days. Yeah. Uh, as soon as they come out of that basket, they're on darkness. Yeah, what do you feed? Uh, in the basket, for their seven days, they're fed on peas only, yeah. which is what they get in their, in their nest box, in the same pot, so that it's um, familiar to them. Um, when they come out of the, the basket, they're, they're fed a, a light fit, a mixture of um, 50% uh, diet 200 and 50% um, um, uh, barley to start off with, and then a full full mix um, with maize in the evening. Yeah. How about training? As much training as I can give them. Yeah. You fly all South Road, do you? South Road only. Yeah. This is your classic winner, in Ron. What family is he? He's Stefan Reet, um, his father. I bought from um, Ian Stafford in County Durham. There's a pigeon named Gold Nugget. Uh, the dam of it was bought from uh, Dean Pallet, and, and that is from a pigeon uh, he called um, Desert Storm. Yeah. That's a direct pigeon from it. He's a nice natured pigeon, this one, isn't he? Nice and quiet. Yes, he's very, yeah, very, very placid. How big's your loft? Uh, total lofts are in the region of 80 foot, including Avery's. Yeah. Um, four what? sections of Widowwood Cox, six in each. Yeah. Um, and a sec two sections where the widowed hens are and the cocks um, one side and the hens obviously with the boxes. The cocks as a general rule don't race. I train them up. It's just the hens in that section that race. Yeah. When do you pair your old birds up? I start pairing um, usually um, January time or just over after Christmas when yeah. I've got a couple of weeks off. Um, they're staggered and I finish up pairing the hen, the widowed hens up. Um, March time. Yeah, what do you feed your old birds? They're fed on um, two sorts of um, widowwood mixture mixed together, sometimes three, uh, but basically the base of the mixture is Bosmolan uh, yeah. PLX. Um, do you break down? I break down um, not as an absolute rule, uh, but I do break down definitely on the day of the race and depending on the, the, the time of the time of the year. Um, normally when we get into the channel racing and they're every two to three weeks, they will go on 50% uh, Widowood, 50% breakdown, um, up until about six or seven days before the channel race, and then they go on full mix. Yeah. How many stock birds do you keep? I keep in the region of uh, 12 pairs of stock birds. Yeah. What do you look for when you bring a pigeon in then? Um, I look, I follow, follow certain people um, and as I said before, I don't worry about what the family is. I look and see what they're winning. Uh, obviously, it's got to be at classic and national level. Yeah. Um, and then I follow those people, and when I make up my mind, I go to those people. Or if, if they have a sale, I'll go. But I only buy from their top pigeons. Top so pigeons. Yeah. You ain't got a type you like. S sorry. You ain't got a type you like. Um, well, obviously, I I, I do. Um, um, I don't like them too of too too, too small, um, but I haven't got a set type. Yeah, um, as long as they're winners. Exactly, winning winning lines. Yeah. yeah. Again, Ron, congratulations, mate. It's a great performance in the classic because it was a very hard race. Thank you very much. Well done, mate. Thank you. Ron Ball, first open London South East Classic, Guernsey Two.